Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidomas, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. This looks like the place. The Forger's thug should be inside. You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it. Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Too slow. Why do I even bother? We need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. Wait. I'm not the one you want to talk to. I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Fade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. I'm looking forward to seeing Harkin again. I'm sure he'll be excited to see both of us. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. 
So I, uh, I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. He's always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I have to do this. I don't expect you to understand, but please, don't try to stop me. I'll pull the trigger, and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Incoming! Do you really think you can take me down, Shimmer? something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sedonis opened my eyes. 
Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a bit. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah, I hope we can do this again real soon. <clears throat> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sedonis better be there. Or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sedonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. I'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sidonis. I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I am the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick, and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me, 
I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's letting you go. You're a better man than I am, Garrus. Thank you. talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with gray. You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. Reminds me of a latrine in Purgatory. Seven guys came at me. Guards and prisoners. Split one's head open, snapped the spine of another. I was slow, but they got me. Later on, I got them, one by one. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. They're not soft, just unconcerned. They only flaunt what they can afford to lose. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy, until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. Big selection of illegal ships. You could drive here if you're strong and ruthless. I like it. Counted 13 guards since we came in. They afraid someone's gonna invade this planet? The less they have, the more they want to protect it. At first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. I assume everything's going well up here? This thing wants to fire me over a joke! Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. She pushed your buttons to get a rise out of you. About time you were on the receiving end. Yeah, great. I just got worked by the intercom. It was not my intent to breed hostility, Mr. Moreau. But you did instigate our interaction. Okay, but think of it this way. Shut up. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But 
an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. You know me, I'm always up for hitting things. And if it makes you feel better... <laughs> I'd rather not add my name to the list of people you've knocked on their asses. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. And don't worry about me. Whatever happens, I'll be there.